Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Father, I ask you to please anoint this message in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Listen, you guys. I'm going to read the scripture, Ephesians 6, verse 12. And I want you to think about where do certain desires and certain fears and, and feelings come from. Think about this. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood. That means, let me stop right there. There's Pat's two cents here. What that means is we're not dealing with people, situations, uh, relationships, ourselves. Listen but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. That right there is self-explanatory. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Let me tell you this. God has a destiny and a purpose for you being on this earth. I don't care if you are mommy or daddy's oops. You were designed for purpose. God predetermined you before your parents ever thought of you. Before you entered your mother's womb, God predetermined you and your destiny and your purpose. So I want you to think about this. What is the first thing Satan comes to do? He comes to steal kill and destroy so he will steal he will snatch your destiny out of your hands he will he will do whatever he can to kill you and he will destroy your purpose he will destroy you reaching your purpose you your ability to live it out only with your permission now listen to this there's another scripture that says the devil walks about like a roaring lion, lion, seeking whom he may devour. Now, the word may is the operative word. He's not seeking whom he will devour. He is seeking whom he may devour. You have to give him permission. You have to cooperate and work along with him in order for him to to succeed. You hear what I'm saying? He can't devour you without your permission or without your cooperation. He can't do it without you. So, whatever you decide, you have to determine in your heart which is more important, the little picture or the big picture. And the big picture oftentimes is the one we cannot see. We can see the little picture or we can make out what's happening in the here and now, in this hour. The injustice that's going on, the person that hurt our feelings, the depression we may be feeling. We are into the here and now, the little picture. But it's the big picture that God sees. It's the big picture God is maneuvering to get you close to, to get you to go through that door of your destiny, <laughs> of your destiny. Do you hear? So my point in saying that is Satan will put blocks, hindrances, obstacles. He's running defense. He's doing everything in the world to stop you from getting to your goal. So what you have to do is press toward the mark of the high calling of God, press toward that mark. I'm condensing everything right now. I'm not trying to quote. I'm getting the point across. You have to press toward that mark because that mark is your destiny, your purpose. That mark is why you were put on this earth in the first place. And this is the point. If Satan can cancel your flight, you won't make it to your destiny. So you have to decide, are you going to work with Satan or are you going to work with God? Now, the scripture says God is for us. If God be for us, who can be against us? 
it gives out that 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 uh, rhetorical question: If God be for us, who can be against us? So you have to make sure that you stay on God's good side. Because that sets you up for divine protection. That sets the hedge around you. That pours the blood all over you. There's protection in the blood of Jesus. That sets assigned angels working on your behalf to protect you in every way, to clear the path ahead of you, to warn you. God is warning you every step of the way. He's giving all kinds of road signals. Are you watching? Are you praying? Are you paying attention? Or are you tiptoeing through the tulips? Dee 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 dee. La li la di da. Are you in la la land? Where are you right now? Do you want something to happen for your life? Or do you want to waste your time? Do you want to spin your wheels chasing your tail? getting nowhere fast all your life and then kick the dog and get angry at the world because your life didn't turn out to be anything but heartache that's not God's purpose that's the devil's design to pull you down now listen to this these are his strategies distraction temptation fear Stirring up your negative emotions. Suicide. Murder. He will do whatever it takes to get you off the beaten path. Do you hear what I'm saying? So when you think about the distractions, what are your distractions? Your friends that have nothing to do with your purpose. Your friends who want you to go get high with them. Your friends who want you to hang out with them at the nightclub late. Your friends who want you to be with them, be the driver for them to go pull off some little uh, a scheme or some little theft or whatever. Your friends who want to take your time up on their phone, yakety yakking about nothing but nonsense. Your friends who want you to drive them all over the place because you have a car, they don't. And that's the main reason they're hanging with you, because you serve their purpose, because you allow it. You're going to go with the distractions? Are you, going to, are you going to go with the temptations? Satan's temptations. You, when you are tempted, you are drawn away of your own lust. Satan can't tempt you with, with chocolate if you like vanilla. Satan can't tempt you with blue if you like black. Satan can't tempt you with the things that you don't desire, the things that don't appeal to you. So he has enough sense to put the things in your path that you like. But the things in your path that you like, you look at them, you're drawn away of your own less. It stirs up your appetite and you start drooling and saying, oh, yeah, I got to have that. I got to have him. I got to have her. I got to have it. Whatever. The bottom line is Satan will put all kinds of temptations so that you will either be arrested or you lose your marriage, drama, or you lose your dignity, shame, or you will lose relationships. I mean, it just gets ridiculous. Or you might even lose your health because you're getting, dis I mean, you're getting tempted and you want to drink or you want to smoke or maybe you want to get high. Those are temptations. You got to watch it. All of that is meant to pull you down and stop you, cheat you out of your divine destiny. That's where your fulfillment will come in. Reaching your destiny, reaching your purpose, living out your purpose. Okay, let's go on with the other things that Satan uses to pull you down with. He will pull you down with depression, with your emotions. He will make people offend you. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. He will make people do things that have nothing to do with them. It's for you. And it's to work against you because Satan knows your buttons. That's what they call familiar spirits. 
He calls for his familiar spirits to pounce on you and, and play all kind of emotional games on you. To pull you down into anger, into pits of despair, hopelessness, even as far as suicide. Now, if you commit suicide, oh, he's a happy camper now. He's got you where he wants you, in the here and now and in eternity. He has sucker punched you and knocked the life out of you. He has raped you of your destiny. Not just robbed you, raped you of it. Now listen, are you going to let him do that? Because you have weapons to fight him off with if you belong to Jesus Christ, if Jesus is in your heart. So if you say this prayer, Father, I ask you to forgive me for sin. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. You hear me? And Lord, clear the way ahead of me. Help me to heal from all of my emotional issues. Because Satan will use those issues against you, baby. He will blackmail you. He will laden you with guilt. He will fill you with, with all kind of temptations and distractions. I mean, he will work on you, baby. But this is a, a weapon. The name of Jesus. I rebuke the desire for that in the name of Jesus. You hear me? I rebuke the temptation for that in the name of Jesus. Satan, get thee behind me. Okay? Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Quote that word. That word is another weapon for you against Satan. Quote what God declares and decrees over your life. I shall not die, but live to declare the works of the Lord. God is for me. If God be for me, who can be against me? No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Get thee behind me, Satan. Get out of my way. I rebuke you. I cast you out. Anger, frustration, depression. I rebuke frustration. I rebuke depression. In the name of Jesus, you're trespassing. This is God's turf here. This is God's property. You have no right. And don't give him any right by committing sins. And if you commit a sin, ask God to forgive you and put people in your life to help you get your walk straight. You want to reach your destiny. I has not seen. This is Isaiah. Ear has not heard. Neither has entered into the mind of man, what God has prepared for those that love him. Now, I'm not quoting it exactly. It's a loose quote, but you get the point. God bless you. Pursue your destiny. Press toward that mark. Press with all your might. Do you hear me? Ask God, if you don't have a determination, ask God to give you one. If you don't have a relationship with God and you don't really know him, ask him to manifest himself to you in every way possible. God bless you.